Hello friends. Welcome to the new Level TT channel. Channel, where all table tennis secrets are at one place. If you try to match the usual footwork patterns to the game situations, you will not be very successful. In many cases, there are some additional movements. Those movements do not fit those ideal patterns. So learning to have perfect footwork from videos is confusing. You can learn how to react in some situations, but overall picture is missing. After this video, you will know exactly on what to focus on during positioning. This concept and the next positioning lesson, episode 5, will help you understand why players moved the way they did. First, let's look at the ways how top players are moving in different situations. Now, did you catch one footwork feature that all of those movements share? If you didn't, first support the channel by subscription during the intro. And then wait for the explanation. Thank you. So, our friends, grab the mouse. Countdown begins. Players are often training side-to-side -side footwork very robotically. It will help with muscle memory, but during the game, they are not able to implement it. They feel very slow, compared to the pace and rhythm of a rally. Today, we will explain concept that will subconsciously improve your footwork and posture habits. The reason is that when you know what to do, and in what time frame, your feet make sure you get the result. Your body fluidly sequence each foot position. Shuffle stepping is actually very natural. Problem is that this shuffle movement is symmetrical and leads to some misconceptions that are not evident. When we are talking about anchoring, we refer to the two things. 1. Always plant the foot of playing hand near the center of our stroke span baseline. Foot is planted at the time, just before the ball hits our side of the table. 2. Keep mutual position of elbow and knee constant as much as possible. This means they are positioned at the same time. These two points are actually very important for modern players' development. It means that even during side shuffling you need to land on the same leg before every shot. If you do not, there will be less stability in your strokes. Nowadays, table tennis is becoming backhand-centric. Backhand banana and strawberry flicks are applied even on the forehand side. Backhand shots and techniques are still evolving and are more dangerous than ever before. Ready position is based on backhand attack without need for switching. Actually, this approach requires changes to your forehand posture a bit. If you look at how young Chinese players play forehand cross loop during warm up, you will see this shift very clearly. Sometimes, it's hard to understand why some techniques that were considered as wrong, few years back, are trendy and effective now. For many people, the context is hidden. Deeper understanding of the game, based on similar concepts, shapes training routines, tactics and footwork very significantly. Unfortunately, there is still not enough theory publicly available to table tennis community. There is no way to name the problems in simple terms. General videos are all over the internet, but they are lacking core principles and explanations. We firmly believe that these simple concepts can unify the language and help analyze problems that players might have. If we set some guidelines or rules and give them a descriptive name, we are creating heuristics. 
This mental shortcut will help in many situations. For example, if we discuss the match outcome and use terms like, 4 points was lost by broken anchor, or on forehand cross, stroke span was misaligned. This will tell almost everything about major footwork problems. Now the player can watch the match again and know exactly what he or she should focus on. This is all for today, let us know in the comments section below if you start seeing these concepts in the game. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon and give a like to the video if you want similar topics in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.